with Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. We just took a look at traffic and we can see it's pretty foggy in some areas out there. Yeah, and it was foggy all day. That's kind of strange. That fog was out there at noon, at 2, at 3. Well, you know, one of the reasons why we were having such thick fog is all the cold air that we had mm -hmm. recently has really cooled down the bay, cooled down the near shore it's water. Inversion, don't it, you? What? Temperature inversion? No, I wouldn't no, say not, not quite. Not quite. Okay. Not quite. You're, right. you're, you're close. You're close. close. I see where you're going with that. I but just like big words. That's, well, I can I, tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not exactly why that's the case, but... All the cold weather we've had lately has kind of cooled the near shore waters down. When you get this warm, humid air blowing over that, you're going to get thick fog, and that certainly has been the case, and we expect it to be thick overnight tonight. So fog is going to be an issue until we get a cold front through here by Friday morning. Right now, 67 in Mobile, 69 Pensacola. We actually got to near 80 degrees in Crestview this afternoon. Upper 70s there. Here's what you're going to expect through midnight. Skies mostly cloudy, mild, low to mid 60s, very humid out there. Fog's going to be a problem, particularly uh, later on tonight, uh, getting away from the uh, water. So we're talking uh, again north of I-10. We could start to see some of that dense fog building in after midnight tonight. But coastal areas are going to stay foggy as they are right now through tonight into tomorrow morning. Warm front now starting to lift northward. This actually was a cold front that stalled yesterday. Remember we were talking about that. Now it's starting to lift back to the north as a warm front. You can see a few showers trying to break up, break out along the front. But what we're waiting for is some energy that's going to be coming out of the western United States. That's going to track across the area coming up on Thursday. And you see it right here. Notice the scale at the bottom of the screen. Pretty stout storm system. And this is the upper level energy associated with this. Most of it, though, is going to stay well to our north. But we're going to get grazed by the very southern tip of this. And that is going to create the potential for some severe weather. Right now, severe weather risk, including inland portions of the Gulf Coast mainly along the Highway 84 corridor, but the higher threat for severe thunderstorms is going to be off towards our north in the central Mississippi and central Alabama for Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. Now, I think the storms are going to get through here sometime around midnight, maybe a little bit before that, and clear the area by uh, Friday morning. At this point, it looks like our threat for severe weather is low, a little bit higher towards the north, gusty winds and the possibility of some isolated tornadoes with that. But really, the next few days, uh, very humid for tomorrow and for Thursday. And as a matter of fact, the winds on Thursday are really going to start to pick up. See how the arrows get really long here. That means we're going to have gusts over 30 miles an hour at times ahead of that cold front, and that's going to set us up for that chance for some showers and storm. Pinpoint forecast for tomorrow. Temperatures into the 70s, most areas. Very small chance for an afternoon storm, afternoon shower, I should say. The storms are going to hold off till Thursday night into Friday morning. Inland sections, mostly cloudy. Temperatures in the middle 70s. Northwest Florida, mostly cloudy. Slight chance for an afternoon shower. Crestview tomorrow again near 78 degrees for a high in southeast Mississippi. Mid 70s, except low 70s near the coast with a slight chance for an afternoon shower. Seven day forecast. The weekend is looking better. You remember we were trying to get an idea of exactly which week, which day of this weekend would be wettest. It, right now it looks like both will be fine. We kept a 20% chance in there for Saturday, but overall removed the rain chances for Sunday. So Thursday night, Friday morning. And then more chances next week, but right now the weekend looks fine. That is good news. It is. And It'll be a little sloppy Friday, but the weekend's shaping up nicely. And that will be Friday morning, so mm -hmm. it looks like for the parades Friday evening was oh, fine. Okay, Derek, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. hey.